The recognized symbol of excellence in online entertainment. This is G.I. Kyle. When I'm not taking shirtless selfies on Instagram and drinking White Claw while having hot sex with my wife Karen and making truck videos, I like to listen to the shows on VRS, Veteran Radio Syndicate, your home for the best quality veteran entertainment. Between the paps and the cores, and the two swinging doors, faded words, but he read them just fine. If you cheat, hope it's death that you're cheating. If you lie, lie with someone you love. If you fight, do it for the right reason. If you drink, then come drink one with us. I haven't shot at all day. Let's see what Stebro is up to. Jesus. Oh, hey, man, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, man. What you doing? Oh, you know, just looking at the reg manuals, you know. <laughs> man, it is just so fucking boring today. Boring. Yeah, I know. It's just, I've been shot at all day either, man. It's just been a weird day. Oh, you know what? The Bro, the fucking bar comes out in a few minutes. Wait, the bar? Yeah, the bar. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The bar from BRS. The, the, that, that same bar, yeah? The bar from BRS. Holy shit! That's better than jacking, I mean, looking at reg manuals. God! And live from VRS, it's the bar! Hey, welcome everybody this beautiful Memorial Day weekend. I know last week was a shit show, uh, more and more common, but it is what it is. It's Memorial Day weekend, or 96, where we go back and reflect about those we lost, but we also celebrate them. Have a little fun, have a little drinky poo, have a little barbecue, if and all that that goes on. Thanks for tuning in. I know everybody's got plans this weekend. And uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm moving. And I'll be moving again in like three weeks. So, got no plans this weekend. Just going to do my normal thing. Going to do the bar. Going to do sports church tomorrow. But anyways, I'm your host, John Curran, a.k.a. Mini, United States Marine Corps veteran. 2311 was my MOS. I yo yes. I'm a car carry member of the E4 Mafia. Allegedly. And OG the Vet Radio Syndicate. So it's going to be kind of an open wild house tonight. A couple of people are going to be missing. A couple of people are going to come in late. So it's going to be it is what it is. There's going to be no format tonight. Nothing we're really going to do except I'm going to do a lot of shots. Try and put the week behind me. And, uh, yeah, just uh, try and enjoy shit, man. Uh, you know, it's not going to be easy there, but uh, I'm always checking in. Hey, you got one fan out there. All right. So let's bring on the crew that we've assembled tonight. And, again, it's going to be changing all through the night. Uh, I know Pimp's going to come in here. Blue's supposed to be in here a little bit. Kiana's coming in. Doc was first in, so first he he is first up. What's going on, brother? How are you doing? I'm hanging in there, brother. What's up? Not much, man. Just uh, – Thought about all week whether I was going to do the show or not after the other day. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm going to do one. Um, for my own sanity more than any other fucking reason, to be honest with you. I mean, this is the worst time of the year. This is probably the worst date. This July 4th and the day before Thanksgiving uh, are the worst nights to do any kind of live streaming. Uh, but I don't fuck care. I need to fucking – I need to get some drinks. I need to talk some shit with my boys and, and fucking – We need to pick me up. Ah, 
a little bit. You know, fucking, wow, what a fucking week, man. I'll tell you what. i tell you what. I, I wonder if Kiana's done vacuuming or not. <laughs> she put herself up there like, you're vacuuming. Like, you, I can't have that. That's horrible. Just already, I mean, it's bad enough I got my fucking dryer going on in the background, but I can't do anything about that or the wife will shoot me in the face with a bazooka. So, you know, that ain't happening. Holy shit. All right, let's see what's going on. What are you doing, Key? Hi, guys. I mean, you're done vacuuming, obviously. <laughs> you're vacuuming? You were vacuuming, weren't you? No, I was doing hair. My child. She oh. wants to not be a ragamuffin today. Um, but now that. I had a mental breakdown, so I'm debating on whether I shave my head, dye it bleach platinum blonde, or dye it red. Sisters look good with that platinum blonde. Yeah, like I like I do a or or a bald head. I don't know. It's pretty hard to fucking grow. I don't want to be confused for those army lesbians. No offense, any army lesbians out there. It's not your people. (laughs) As long as they shoot in the right direction, I don't care what the fuck you believe in. That's hey, I would take looking like an army lesbian over a chemo patient any day. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) <laughs> Nelson Martinez. What did I just click on? It's the bar, man. It's a bunch of veterans, uh, United States military veterans getting together and uh, doing shots, uh, beers, and talking shit, man. That's about it. We're doing shots already? Oh, man. All right. Prost. What are you drinking? I don't know. I figured I would join you for once. Oh, God. Don't tell your doctor. I'll shoot you in the face with a bazooka. I won't. I won't tell him anything. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Nelson. Man, I appreciate. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. What's up, brother? Um, do your best to enjoy the weekend for sure, man. So funny this week, right? Like, oh, the Facebook's going back and forth. Remember, don't say Happy Memorial Day. Look, don't jump somebody's fucking throat just because they say that shit. They don't know. They don't know. Yeah, they're just they don't know the behind it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's cordial. Be like, you know, just be like, it's not a happy weekend, but thanks for the sentiment. I appreciate that. I really do. You know, yeah. don't go all fucking super vet and pull your cape out yeah. of your ass, attach it to your collar, and just start fucking knocking civilians out because they happy Memorial Day. <laughs> I mean, they're civilians. They don't, unless they're a military family or somebody, or, you know, uh, somebody in their family's military they were close, but they don't fucking know. They have no idea. Yeah. It's all right. It's all good. You know, they look at us like aliens. We look at them like aliens. That's just the way it is, right? Exactly. Oh, I don't say anything at all because I had a guy compliment me on my shirt, even though it's a grunt style shirt. But I, I wore this shirt <laughs> for a reason because it's Memorial Day shirt, right? So it was like years ago. It was uh, five years ago. More than a Like the start or like the first year or so of VRS, I think. And uh, we went to um, Chicago for an event uh, put on by Warriors Mind, which I don't think exists. But uh, it was a Warrior's Mind, Grunt Style, Five Bravo, Aaron Hart, and all those fucking lunatics. Uh, yeah. uh, I got, oh my God, me and him had gotten so drunk at Grunt Fest 4, or was it 3? Was it, which one was in San Antonio? It was 3, Grunt Fest 3. 3. That's a whole nother story. But, uh, oh my God, like they wouldn't let you carry shots for, like, they wouldn't let you carry shots around, like multiple shots around. And we each ordered like, three shots for like one for me and two for the other and they're like we, you can't take that away and I looked at him and I'm like are you thinking what I'm thinking and he's like yeah so we just whack 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 just all threw him down until the guys who back yeah. hit their own <laughs> we just woo oh it was brutal oh it was a good night but yeah but uh, it was a great event I got my first tattoo at the at the uh, tribute to the fallen uh, yeah and it's fucking shit already because I didn't do it right because I didn't know any better because this is my first tattoo. There was yeah, an offer that $500 for me to get another man's initials tattooed on my ball sag. I'm not kidding. It's a live stream. It's out there somewhere on the internet. I didn't do it, but I was tempted. I was very, very tempted to do it. I mean, it's $500. How many people are going to see it, right? It's going to yeah. be extremely painful, but it was $500 for what? 15 minutes of pain? Yeah. Come on. I did that for five years. That's nothing. Fifteen minutes. Shit. I would have if if it's a nutsack tattoo. I will definitely put L.A. down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, 
Thomas Frater, which um, that was that was that was tribute to the fallen. Yeah, that was me and uh, uh, Tom had a, he was doing sports shirts with me back when we were doing it on radio, right? And uh, he said he gave me an extra like I think it was like five minutes to do auto racing because he fucking hates auto racing. And uh, <laughs> all I had to do was get a lock of the first sergeant from Grunt Style's hair, right, or from his beard, a lock from his beard. And so first I talked to the, the HMFIC at Grunt Style. He's like, oh, I want to do that. I'm like, no, no, no. Let me explain. He goes, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm still not going to help you, though. And I'm like, well, fucking, that's great. So I went below the first sergeant and then worked laterally. And I worked the room for like 45 minutes straight. Finally, they're like, all right, we'll get him. And so they just cornered him and like, here, we're going to take a piece of your beard. He's like, what? I'm like, it's for a good cause. And he's like, okay. And we cut it off and. I took a picture and sent it to him, and he gave me like two minutes instead of five. It was rubbish, but <laughs> it was fun. You know, say what you want about Grunt Style, say what you want about uh, Tim Jensen, but uh, I always had a good time with them. I always had a good time with HMFIC. Kept trying to ask me when I was going to come to work for him. I'm like, I don't like Carol Stream, uh, and that's yeah. when they were there. And then they then they moved, and there's a whole bunch of things going on with that company and whatever. But um, is what it is. Uh, what's up, pimp? How you doing? What's new? What's happening? How you be? Oh man, had a long day. Long. Oh day. yeah. Yeah. We can tell he's Perfect. not wearing a hat. Yeah, he's pretty pixelated too, so he looks even more shittier. Yeah, I. Uh... You're like you what's look worse. You normally do. <laughs> you're you're, you're that yeah. Was oh, that was scary, bro. Because <laughs> you're still <laughs> pixelated, but. Now the expressions are like all jumbled. It's it's weird, man. It's just it's uh, what it is. But... Uh, I appreciate that. That's cool. Yeah, uh, I'm hey, at the Tom, house. I'm on my phone. Tom, if you're in here. If you're if you want to hang, if you want to jump in, bro. I mean, it's I got a whole bunch. I got pretty much the whole crew sort of missing or not able yeah. to join tonight. So if you want, man, you're welcome to. It's been a while since we did anything on air. Uh, he's got a great a lot of great characters too. By the way, we used to have a lot of fun with that back in the day. Uh, that we were talking about today, messaging each other, uh, about the good old days of VRS, even going back to TV. When we, we did, we because I started TV like seven years ago. Um, yeah, and we did radio for TV. The bar started on TV radio. Uh, it wasn't my show at the time, it was Josh Miller's show at the time, but uh, I was a part of it. And uh, then we moved to VRS, but oh my god, the pranks we used to do and the fucking oh my god, they were so so great. Burke was a John Burke, you know. Again, you know, I like him. Uh, when I met him, he was always very cool to me. Uh, some people fucking don't like him at all, to each his own, I guess. But he was hella fun back in the day when we were before he completely blew up and was too big for yeah. us. You know. Uh, he would fucking he would call on, he would come on the bar. He came. On, I have there's a live stream that's up on YouTube and up on the on the Vet Radio City Facebook page of, of Burke me interviewing Burke, and I was whacked out on fucking uh, 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 Robitussin, like <laughs> whacked out like a, like a ball and a half in like six hours. Like I was fucked up, and uh, I, I told him that <laughs> monster monster got him on, and I told oh him. Closure, dude. I, I said I didn't think you were coming on. I would have planned ahead for it, but uh, it is what it is. Like I'm fucked up on Robitussin. Like I'm mean, I'm whacked out of my mind on cough medicine and, and Jameson. Like it's not good, you know. But we still had fun time. The good old days, pimp. Remember the good old days? Yeah, I do. Remember that time when you had after my surgery, I was hired at Georgia Pine. <laughs> and I watched my hummingbirds, and I thought they were pterodactyls. <laughs> yeah, I was I was hosting uh, what radio with Justin, and you and you chimed in, right? You you called yeah, it, yeah, feeling okay, and your fucking eyes were like saucers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was fucking. I, I went back and watched it, and laughed my ass off, man. I was I was freaking out. And these hummingbirds right near the window, and I thought they're pterodactyls. They're pterodactyls. So I was like, shut up, yeah, I mastered eight pterodactyls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Good times, oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah. That's when uh, I. What wasn't that when I fell? I was twenty feet near to fell. I think it was two thousand eighteen. Yeah, you fell and broke your like your uh, you broke your elbow. Yeah, my arm. Yeah, yeah. My wrist. Your wrist. Yeah. Your wrist. Yeah. 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 That, that yeah, was you never you didn't, you got shit for that for like a month because it was like yeah I broke my wrist. I'm like oh yeah. <laughs> How'd you do yeah. that, bro? 
fucking whacking off on a porta potty, slipped and whack, boom. Oh, we're living the glory days in the Marine Corps, <laughs> having a combat jack and a hundred twenty degree fucking uh, porta potty. That's what happened. Number That's three, happened. number three stall. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I see. Can I just no. say I really miss you guys? Like, where the hell you been? Um, I know you're busy as fuck. I mean, you've got what three kids, job, uh, a white boyfriend. I mean, God help you on that one. And then you got, uh, and, then, and I got what four kids. Yeah, she got four. What happened to the guy? I see, that was on air with us at one time. What happened to him? That was my roommate. Oh, oh. roommate. He needed a, no, he, <laughs> needed a, he needed a place to stay, and he was my best friend's cousin. God, uh, but he talked shit about uh-huh. my kids, so he got kicked out. No, and um, one of the one of the four kids are not his, are they? No, oh, they no. not his. He's uh, too short. Every Saturday night, man, every Saturday night, uh, even if I can't make it, which is maybe four or five times a year, uh, it'll, the show will still be on somebody else. I'll, I'll give somebody else the reins. And, uh, yeah, every Saturday night, man, at 2100 Eastern Standard Time, Vet Radio Syndicate Facebook page. Give a like and a follow, man. Appreciate it. Have a good have a good weekend for sure, brother. No, Sorry. Uh, what I've been doing is, um, so I don't know if you guys know, but one of my projects I work on, it's called Wrinkle Court Military Village. And mm-hmm. it's right by Lackland. It's the old barracks from the 60s, I think. So what's happening is they partnered with me because they said I was the only nonprofit that was actually responsive, that didn't bullshit them because they knew that I was so small. They tried mm-hmm. not to bug me. And so they called several of the famous ones in San Antonio and they got the runaround. So um, I'm partnering with the founder of uh, the Voices of Our Veterans. And so what this place is, as 20 units, one's a day room commander office where project still is going to operate out of and um it's going to be fully occupied so what i do is once they furnish the units i go get all the stuff to make it home you know soap toothpaste toothbrush all that shit and i fill it up there and i give it a nice clean sweep put a tv up there uh because a lot of these you know a lot of our brothers and sisters that are displaced they don't even know the luxury like one female veteran um when you called the other night, I was actually installing a ceiling fan <laughs> <laughs> and mounting a TV and we were cleaning up um, where they're going to start doing their laundry um, so they don't have to. Because we had a couple of vets that would like take their laundry on the bus, but then their stuff was getting stolen. So we wanted to add a laundry room in there. So um, it switched over management. So once my car is fixed, which I'm going to get to. <laughs> I'll be there every day, but um, I'm going to be one of the people that's welcoming in the veterans, running the application with them, working with GI Forum. Uh, they, they love the work that I'm doing. And so this is kind of, they're molding me to partner with it so mm-hmm. I can get more support so I can eventually get land. And they're going to let me start documenting everything. And a lot of the veterans that I've, I've grown relationships with, um, mm-hmm. they're willing to actually do like, like one of them suggested, hey, do a YouTube series and we don't mind talking about our issues with you because you've been helping us out and you've had our back more than anyone else. Um, so they're going to start letting me interview them for Project Steel. And I'm going to start a YouTube series on the changes um, that are going on. But it was it was difficult because my car shitted on me and needed a new alternator. It got fixed. We drove it for 15 minutes, went to engine reduced power, went and go past 30. And we're in Texas on Highway 90 that goes to 35 towards Austin. Everybody drives 80 on that bitch. And I, when it got fixed again the other day, it went up the hill and we were going at 70 and I was slower than everybody else. And then it said, do, 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 engine reduced power. And it started going down and I'm going up the hill and all of a sudden it shuts the fuck off. The brakes are seized, I can't steer and we're going backwards down the hill on the highway while all these cars are coming towards us. And it was so bad that a semi swerved past us and it like the wind moved us with how fast it was going. And I have a suburban, an 07 suburban, one of the bigger ones. Mm-hmm. Um, so I told Daryl, I said, Look, I don't know. I know you're not military, but my first year taught me to tuck and roll. So we're gonna have to pull e brake, tuck and roll until this bitch slows down. So we literally <laughs> tucked and rolled till it slowed down. And, uh... Um, and then once it started, we started, stopped it, pushed it. And I was like, Man, I need my military boots back because I was wearing my high heel cowgirl boots and i was in this dark place for the past week because 
um, knowing that they're so dependent on me, knowing that I'm starting to make a name, knowing that I'm starting to get more attention. Like we had residents that couldn't move in because I couldn't get the stuff there. And I felt like a failure. I felt like I failed my brothers and sisters and, you know, cause I told them I will be there for you. And, um, I couldn't be there and it, it hurt for me. And then I assistant Daryl, you know, we were rolling hot in the hoopty that was, you know, two years expired from the, <laughs> the registration and it had a murder warrant. That wasn't us. It was the previous owner. And so we were like, Hey, are we going to get pulled over today? Is this going to get towed? We got all this shit out here. <laughs> but it was just one of those, you know, difficulties where I was like, man, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fucking do it. And, and now my starter doesn't work anymore. And I changed the throttle body actually we were in the parking lot of advanced auto parts where this little string bean ass twink of a kid was like, damn girl. And I'm like, son, you're like five years older than my son. So please don't. <laughs> and I was ready to hit him. So it was just one of those moments where I had to, right. I like, whose podcast is going on next. I need to, I need to be laugh. I need to be laughing. <laughs> Pull a Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> Yo, we're going to add a couple people in. Uh, we're going to add Blue. What's up? How you doing, sweetie? As you see, I got a smearing off in a cup. There you go. Yeah, I'm good. We just got home from eating, so. Right on, right on, right on. All right. So uh, he hasn't been on in, whoo, I don't know. It's been a minute, but uh, one Isn't of my old friends, one of my co-hosts on Sports Church, he's a current United States Navy seaman. Uh, he's a hell of a guy. Probably the one of the people that I enjoy talking baseball the most within the entire fucking planet. I hope he takes that as a compliment, even though he is a Yankees fan. Mr. Thomas Brickner, what's going on? You're muted. Yep. There we can are. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, man. How you doing? Not bad. I got a lot of reverb, but uh, that's much. you, not us. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Uh, what, what you up to, man? How many years you got left? You got to be close. Fuck. That's that's a long time, man. That is a long time. Woo. At least uh, you ain't doing well. Uh oh, did you freeze on me? No, 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 no. Hang, oh. hang on one second. Sure, sure. Yeah, I think he's gonna. Fi- oh. Hold on. <laughs> you doing shots again? Oh yeah, I yeah. Figured yeah, out yeah. what my reverb was. Ah. The good old days of tech issues. Yay. <laughs> God, remember doing radio? Oh, it was horrible. Oh, so bad. So I've had a co- uh, I'm just drinking some uh, honey bourbon. Ah. But uh, I've, had some, I've had some offers to come back on the air recently, but I am so fucking rusty when it comes to tech and everything. And Oh, you know what, dude? They, we we for the for the time being, we took that all out of the equation. <laughs> <laughs> the stream yard is fucking marine proof. That's how oh. easy it is. This one of the things I don't like about it, Tom, is that it's so yeah. easy that it's limited to the things that you can do with it. You know what I mean? But well, you, well, you know me. I I I was a perfectionist when it came to production, and mm-hmm. uh, anything that fell below that would annoy the shit out of me and i learned i learned that from my cousin you know yeah (laughs) i was spoken to that that boy in probably like three years man i mean i see him pop up on social media every once in a while and doing uh live streams in here and there but i haven't spoken to him i've been barely spoken to you since the pandemic a couple of times but you were locked on shit most of the time so yeah that must have been super fun oh a blast (laughs) <laughs> well, your hair couldn't get any grayer, right? So you had that ahead of you. So. so what do you think about your Yanks? I mean, you're more than welcome to come on tomorrow if you want to talk about your Yanks. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for tomorrow. I mean, okay, if you want to come on tomorrow, you're more than welcome to. But uh, yeah. for those of you who don't know, Tom is an OG and former owner of Vet Radio Syndicate. And he had some of the best characters that anybody ever did on this show. Father Proby, oh my God. God was just the prank phone calls were just oh 
just people crying. I got <clears> on <throat> the phone one time. I was laughing so hard. Like, I shot it out of my hand. It cracked in the middle of my garage. I'm like, fuck. Because they were making me laugh so damn hard. I mean, when we were talking about today, I mean, like, just how we missed, like, the golden era, the gilded age, if you will. Do you do you know how every, do you know how every single one of my characters started? No, I don't know if I ever told you the story, but I would get drunk as fuck. And back when back when station that won't be named right. ha- had a rant line, and you can call in and leave messages on there and see what stuck. I would just get drunk, and I would just call, and I'd do a little bit, and. If we listened to it and it sounded good, then off we went with it. <laughs> God, I remember those. Some of those. I can't imagine him going through those because, whoo, but. Uh, but I, I know everybody loved, loved Father Proby, but my favorite, oh yeah. my favorite character was Carl. Oh, yeah. And, oh. and, and, and not, and not, not for how ridiculous the character was or anything. Yeah. But the fact that he had a uh, he was in love with in love with John Burke. Oh and yeah. I would, and I would troll the shit out of John and John would get so red faced. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's how we found out that John Burke played wow. Yeah. <laughs> and for I those of you who know, know, know gamers out there, that's World of Warcraft. Yes. And and he admitted on air that he was like I mean, he some, had a character some, ridic- so, some like, ridiculous level. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, I know, I know nothing about WoW other than, you know, it's a, a fucking online game, whatever. Right. Um, but the fact that he played it just blew my fucking mind, and I was relentless when I found that out with that oh, character. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that was one of my favorite too, for sure. Like, I forgot about Carl for a second, but oh my god, those were great. Oh, those were so much fun, man! Uh, and the show, that sh- and the mm. stage just shall not be named. We had some good times on that, you know. We did. Oh we yeah, did. Oh, I had a blast. And, yeah. You know, and we were talking earlier today, and really, in the end, it, it just the business end became too stressful for me. And yeah. I always said that when it wasn't fun anymore, I was going to.